Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how I buff and restore this headlight. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen so many YouTube videos and they're just... The, the finish is not that good. Uh, although you may not like my method or my result, I think it's actually uh, pretty close to perfect. So I just kind of wanted to make a short video. Although this is not what I would uh, recommend. I would recommend clear coating, but I know not everybody is able to do that. But I think I'll still make a video of how I clear coat headlights just for those that are interested, if any at all. This here is pretty much all you will need. I have a buffer and pads to go for rubbing compound and machine polish. And I have a spray bottle you can buy at Lowe's for like five or six bucks. I have 320 and 600 grit for the DA. Now most of you will think that 320 is a bit too coarse for the lens, but these pittings that are in here will not come out with 600. They will be very hard to take out and it'll take a very long time. For wet sanding, I have 600, 1000, 2000, and 3000 pad. This is 3M. You can purchase this at Advanced Auto Parts. AutoZone does not have 3M, and personally, the 3M sandpaper is my favorite, but that's just a personal opinion. So what I do with this large sandpaper, I cut them down into eight rectangular pieces. Uh, and for each headlight, you need about Two, two of each, two of 600, two of 1,000, and two of 2,000. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this method is not the cheapest, but as far as result goes, I think it does give the best result. I'm sure not everybody has a buffer or a DA sander, uh, but maybe if you know somebody that'll let you borrow it, um, that'll help out a lot. One last thing before we get started. Uh, if you're considering a restoration kit, by all means, you can do that. Um, but this is why I do not recommend it. The restoration kits go from about like 800 to 3000. That jump right there, 3000 will not take off 800 uh, grit scratches. You will see that after you buff it and it will not look good. It'll be kind of like a milky haze to it even, even after you're done. done with the 320 DA we removed all the clear coat and this is what it looks like next we will do the 600 and we will be going even longer to remove all the 320 scratches if you don't it'll show up after you buff it done with 600 DA uh, I used two 320 pads like this and two 600 pads now we will be going 600 wet we will remove all these swirl marks from the DA So now that we sanded with 600 wet, um, I wanted to check to make sure there were no swirls left over. Uh, this is what we want to see. The sand marks by hand, they're all going one way. And the swirl marks tend to be on the corners because the corners are the hardest to sand. Let's see if I can get this thing focused. If you can see right here, there's a little swirl mark. Right here, there's a few. So a few swirl marks are not bad, but if you have a lot of them, you will notice it after you buff it. Uh, I'm going to get the rest of the swirls removed and we'll go up to 1,000. We are finally done with 600 and we will be moving to 1,000. Uh, just a little tip, instead of sanding the same way you did with 600, you can go the other way and 
that way you'll see whenever the 600 scratches disappear uh, you can go ahead and move to 2000 and then 3000 We are now done with 1000 and we will be moving on to 2000. Well that wraps it up for 2000 and if anybody's wondering how much time to spend on each grit, I'd say anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Now we're done with 3000 and this thing is already starting to look better than it did before we started. Uh, this is actually what your headlight will probably look like with the restoration kit after buff. So here's what we got. Now the reason I said I'd rather do clear coat than buff is because clear coat lasts several years and the finish is unreal. It's like a really high gloss, even better than this. Uh, this will probably last about half a year before it starts turning yellow again but then all you gotta do is just buff it you don't have to sand it and go through the whole process again I would like to hear y'all's opinion on this maybe if you do something differently let me know I'm always looking for new things to learn so thank you guys for watching if I help one person with this that already makes it worth it <laughs>